Four asks for Tom, where are your retro addictions on the amount of needed beneficial mutations per year for three billion years? No numbers means your theory is not science. I just go with whatever the academic consensus says. Just go ask the biologist. I'm not a biologist. I'll have something to say to that. See, the thing is, uh, he wants to present, you know, a model of pond scum to people evolution, but he hasn't really explained away any of the fatal blows to his um, to his evolutionary theory. And uh, if you look at Haldane's dilemma, which is what uh, somewhat of the question that he's asking, because uh, you would need like, let's look at apes to humans there would need to be tens or even hundreds of millions of beneficial mutations that arose and then went to fixation. And I talked about this during our back and forth during that time frame, that specific time frame. And that scenario would require roughly 1,000 independent beneficial fixations per generation. And that's literally impossible. Ponds come to people, evolution is impossible. That, and, and that's why I always say, you know, that type of evolution is outside of just a, a normal change in allele frequencies and populations over time. It only happens in the minds of the evolutionists. They hope, they dream, they imagine. That's all I have to say. Gotcha. Next. Just a quick response to that. We we actually have evidence. We can make future predictions. You can't. So more likely yours is the imaginary. 